right so national income okay so what is uh, felt by you by using the word which is national income right uh, because it comes under macroeconomics and also study in uh, microeconomics and also we can see in economy also if i say in one word uh, national income it is universal chapter universal chapter in right economics right so that's why when we see when we come across the word which is national income what is felt by you right okay for example when we come across the word botany we can imagine right plants on the same line if we come across zoology right we come across animal on the same line for example if we come across chemistry just uh, envision right that is chemical compounds on the same line what is felt by you by listening the word which is national income national income means here the final monetary value of uh, goods and services of nationals final monetary value of goods and services of nationals okay i think it this is a word right okay now we should try to i have to to ask one question the question is right so national income belongs to national income income belongs to right belongs to for example a right nation's income right nation's income b right people income right people income okay next one is c laborers income laborers income right d factors income d factors income so now we, we should try to pick out the right answer right right sort out the right answer what is felt by you by learning the word which is right national come by yes uh, uh, seeing the words we have uh, nations uh, people uh, laborers are uh, factor right the right answer is the right factors of course some extent uh, it seems right laborers but uh, laborers uh, word is not correct why because laborers right are uh, people right uh, they are ready to work ready to work right ready to work uh, treated as laborers the person who, who is already working treated as right here uh, uh, workers okay that's why i just didn't mention here workers only labor that's why the right answer is the s factors so it is understood that right national income belongs to factors factors right produce goods and services right they are given some monetary value now you should try to yes list out the factors right what are the factors right uh, which can produce goods and services for example you see land right labor right okay third one is your capital third one is fourth one is organization fifth one is right technical knowledge technical knowledge so the these right uh, five treated as factors right so for example land right uh, what is given by the land in production process it gives right raw material and what is the duty of the labor labor yes nothing but labor nothing but you are not laborer your work right work is done by the worker work is done by the worker not a laborer right i think it's clear so your labor can convert the raw material into right finished goods and uh, capital right capital nothing but machinery machinery is useful to the laborer labor right in the production of goods and services and organization already you know who can assemble rest factors of production at the same uh, period right at what one site in order to realize the goods and services and uh, with the help of these four factors these four factors we can produce goods and services so what is the right need of technical knowledge right uh, which role is crucial so if you want to produce goods just you need these four factors right if you want to produce qualitative goods you need the assistance of the technical knowledge nothing but science and technology 
science and technology, nothing but the research and development, research and development with that we can produce qualitative goods, right. So, it is understood that land labor capital organization, we can produce right goods, produce right goods, but if you opt to, if you opt to produce qualitative good, you need uh, one more uh, fact assistance that is the right technical knowledge. With the help of technical knowledge, we can produce qualitative goods. Qualitative goods only right exported, that is why if you wanted to right uh, export your goods, you must rely upon the technical knowledge. Why? Because here uh, the four factors are not enough. Why? Because here we can just produce goods services only with the help of land, labor, capital organization, but in order to produce qualitative goods, you must uh, rely upon the technical knowledge, right? I think it is clear. So, it is understood that, it is understood that. So, national income, right, is owned by five factors, right. So, land, labor, capital organization and fifth one is the technical knowledge. With the help of these five factors, we can produce goods and services, right, which are used by the people from morning to evening, yes, in order to, yes, yes, fulfill their needs, right. I think it is clear. So, this is something about the word uh, national income. I think it is clear, right. National income means here, national's income. National who produces goods services as I told you factors of production which are listed land, labor, capital organization, technical knowledge. I think it is clear. This is a simple word. Okay? Now, we should try to write to move towards a definition, right? Definition, right. So, what is national income, right? Now, we should try to yes, uh, resort towards right definition, right? Okay. So, here according to right uh, experts, the yes uh, definition which was given by them, uh, this is the, the final value of the final value, the final value of goods and services, goods and uh, services, goods and services which are produced, which are uh, produced, which are uh, produced in the country, in a country in a country in uh, one uh, financial year, in one financial year, right, is uh, termed as right national income, right. So, according to definition, it is a core definition which is given by the experts, right, in order to write unearth the meaning of national income, right. So, now we should try to sort out uh, in depth that right, we should try to unearth the, yes, the instrumental words which are present in the definition. First one is here of final value, final value, right. And next one is financial year, right. So, if you observe the instrumental words, keywords, right, which are present in the definition, right, we can see two words. One is final value and also financial year, okay. So, what is the final value, right? What is the financial year? Okay, now we should try to write an add to the, yes, the meaning of, uh, right, these two words, right, okay. So, it, the def according to definition here, goods and services, here goods and services. Yes, value, another one is value, right, final value. Value means here, when we multiply goods, when we multiply goods with the price, then we get the right income, that is the value of uh, right goods and services, okay. So, again I used uh, uh, good services, these goods and services, if we right uh, see the difference, even though these two words seem alike, just we have a certain difference. The difference is goods are visible items, services are invisible items, right, okay. But we, these two can satisfy our wants, that is why goods and services nothing but yes, economy. Economy constitutes right, two words, one is good and uh, second one is the service, right, okay. So, and uh, when we unearth the, uh, unearth the definition, one more, value just I dealt it now, value means here goods into price, just, just we can get it right. For example, 5 kgs of tomato, 5 kgs of tomato into 5 rupees, then you get uh, 25 rupees, okay. I think it is clear. Value nothing but here, the monetary value of goods services can, can be treated as right value. Good, uh, I just I dealt you know, a visible item, a touchable item and uh, gives that satisfaction. With reference to service, right, it is invisible item and uh, untouchable item and also gives satisfaction. It means goods and services both are given, right, uh, here uh, satisfaction, but uh, we have a certain difference between goods and services, goods are visible items, services are invisible items. So, I think it is clear. So, next one is a financed year, right, okay. So, when we move towards in the definition, right, definition definition, we have two words, just invest instrumental words, just we found, one is final value, 
final value. The rest one is right financially, yeah. financially, yeah. right? Okay, now move. Now we should try to first uh, relate upon uh, yes uh, final value. What is final? Yes. So in the calculation of national which is done by NS one National Statistical Office, I right, periodically write they calculate the income, right? Okay. You see here final. Here input leads to output. Input leads to output. Here output is the final. Output is the final. It is the former. It is the former. Right? Okay. That is when the calculation of national income is done by the National Statistical Office right uh, in financial year. They consider only output but not a former value which is right input. Why? Because input already reflects in the output that is just we consider only output should not be taken as yes, former value which is right uh, yes input. That is we should try to calculate only output should not be taken as right uh, input. Why? Because it reflects solid in the output. Okay? I think it is clear. So, that is why in the calculation of national income, NSO consider only final value not uh, former uh, value. I think it is clear. Just I have to, to give one more example to right, clarify this one. Just uh, right. what is former, what is output? Yes, easy. For example, here uh, we yes, farmer is there. Yes, farmer is there. He is having wheat, yes, let us imagine wheat and valued at 500 rupees. Just let us imagine 500 rupees, right. 500 it is the final, why? Because here uh, before 500 nothing was there, it is the final word. Now we should try to consider 500 rupees. The second stage, right, uh, the here Miller, Miller, why? Because here wheat must be converted into right uh, flour. Why? Because we cannot eat directly. Now, we should try to convert wheat into flour, but which is done by the miller. Okay? So, some add is added. Some value is added that is 500, it is the raw material which is right uh, as wheat and the second one is here uh, value, some amount is given. So, between these two words, uh, yes, 500 is the former uh, and 200 is the final. We should try to consider only 200, here only 500. Okay, why? Because these are the final words, and we should try to write uh, more. Yes, the next phase. The phase is baker. Here, baker, right? So, flour uh, must be converted into right uh, roti, a uh, roti, right? So that's why here wheat into flour by grinding, uh, which is done by the miller. Okay, that's why some values added. The value is just 200. Okay, and the same like here, the flour must be converted as yes, uh, by the baker into a roti. So something yes is added again. 500 yes wheat, 200 it is the flour, and uh, some more value is added for uh, what is this the roti? For example, it is the final. This is the final. This is the former. Former should not be taken. So, according to our definition, in the calculation national income, only final value is taken, not a former value is taken. That is why it is clear, I think. Yes, final, a final, a final. Okay. Next one is another stage, another phase also we need to face that is, uh, yes, shop. Why? Because here all goods must be reached, uh, must, must be arrived to right uh, shop. Why? Because we are uh, selling process going on right here. So, here roti must be packed, uh, here uh, packing. Yes, here packing. So, some more value is added, okay. 500, uh, yes, wheat, uh, 200, uh, it is uh, flour, uh, it is 200 again roti, yes, again 100 rupees, it is the value, okay. This is the final, these are all former, I think it is clear. So, in the calculation of national income, in the calculation of national income, right, what happens here, the value of final. So, former value should not be taken at any cost, right, I think it is clear. So, final value 500, 200, 200, 200, yes, if you add, yes, all these, uh, the number is 1000 rupees, 1000 rupees. The 1000 rupees treated as, named as, renamed as GVA, gross value added. So, in the calculation of national income, yes, we should try to add only final value, not a former value, right? So, okay, thank you. For example, if you consider, if you consider former value, for example, 500, 500, 200, 500, 200, 200, 500, 200, 200, 100. Yes, it leads to right 3100. 
it is total value added total value added i think it is clear in the calculation of right national income right earners so should should not take right total value added just only consider as gross value added i think it is clear so this is the definition so in the definition we write uh, we found that uh, two keywords the words are first one is first one is right here uh, final value the next text one is financial now we should try to move into right uh, financial year financial year right financial year right so the calculation of national income which is done right in financial year april 1st or march 31st i think it is clear right okay so here ns1 national statistical office which is right uh, working under most minister of statistics and uh, right program implementation right okay so that's why here the financial year also named as accounting year also named as accounting year right accounting year and assessment year also we can say as uh, assessment year right accounting year and also we can say as uh, fiscal year fiscal year and also financial year these are the synonyms right okay assessment year accounting year financial year right uh, fiscal year right i think it's clear okay so that's why here financial year just uh, yeah, starts on april 1st uh, ends on march 31st okay that's why here it is understood that year starts from right april 1st to march 31st i think it's clear so stretches from right to april 1st to march 31st it ends right that's why it is a period of time yes i think it is observed that it is period of time not a point of time right okay that's why we should try to consider 12 months income which is carried by the right nso period you can i think it's clear right okay this is the final financial year i think uh, yes it is clear that the definition right uh, consists uh, right uh, two words one is uh, final right next one is the financial right final means here only a uh, final value is taken output is taken should not be taken input why because input already right reflected in the output i think it's clear okay so it is understood that now we should try to yes uh, list out various types of uh, income right for example first word is income so how we get uh, income next one is total value added another word and gross value added another one right next one is right uh, Yes, uh, MP market uh, price income, right? FC factor cost income, right? And uh, then national income, and also, yes, right. Here uh, domestic income, right? Uh, yes, national income, right? Uh, nominal national income, right? Uh, real national. Income. These are the words which are to be dealt, right? Uh, we should try to add the yes meaning of different uh, words. I think it is clear. Okay. So so far, what do we discuss right here? <coughs> the national income. Right, national means no total national that comes under microeconomics, not microeconomics, right? So studies about aggregates, uh, not individuals, right? It studies total economy. The total economy values uh, taken into monetary value that is national income. So national income it seems in cash, right? Okay, that's why here it is understood that total economy here, economy right uh, S into price S e equal to right income income, right? Okay. So in our in our income it is the value income it is the value value is derived uh, with the help of right multiplication uh, in which we have economy and uh, price i think it's clear economy consists here uh, goods and services goods and uh, yes, services goods and services price mean your value price is your value okay it is understood that in order to derive income we should try to take uh, multiplication yes between two things two variables one is right economy second one is the yes price yes economy consists of goods and service i think it is clear yes so with with reference to right uh, yes uh, income i think the word income yes wow right second one is yes tva total value added how we get uh, total value added as i told you now itself okay for example Yes, you see here. Uh, okay, so here now we should try to move into another word that is TVA. TVA means here uh, we should try to yes uh, need to add uh, not only yes uh, final but also yes former. For example, you see input, input, that leads to output, leads to output. Okay, now with the reference to TVA total value added, we should try to consider not only output but also in input. Okay, that's why if you take only output, the value is GVA gross value added. This one, okay, right. If you consider input also, what happens here? Yes, that's why it here, yes, here, okay, here output here gross value added, gross value added. If you consider input value also, it is total value added, total value added. 
Okay, as the nav itself just taken, as G V A seems right 1000 and T V A seems to 3100, that is why just we consider only 1000 should not be taken as 3100. I think it is clear. Okay, in the calculation of national income, NS for consider only output but should not be taken yes input. If you consider input also, we get T V A. That is why national income does not care about the T V A, only cares about G V A. I think it is clear income finish T V A, finish G V A also finish i think it is clear okay now we should try to move into another word the word is right uh, mp market price so what is market price and we should try to unearth the meaning of uh, market price right okay so with reference to market price income right for example one worker one worker one worker from his home right moves to right firm i think it is clear firm right so, with reference to firm, where uh, he produces goods and services, right? He moves to firm, work on nothing but your factor, one of the factors, so moves to firm. So, why he is moving to firm? Just already we know, yes, goods and services which are produced right in uh, firm, right? So, here goods and services, goods and services produced by the right to worker, where uh, firm, where in the firm. So, he is given remuneration the remuneration treated as MP market price, market price, okay. So, market price income nothing but the income the salary which is given by the firm. Yes, why because the worker delivers his effort in a firm in order to produce goods and services. That is why here MP in the form of cash, okay. I think it is clear. So, market price income is the income which is provided by the firm to the factors why because factors right produce goods and services. The remuneration of the factors can be treated as market price income I think it is clear. Okay? Okay, next one is here factor cost. What is this factor cost? Right. So, factor what is factor cost income? Okay? So, here slight difference here we have yes with reference to right uh, factor cost income. right? So, right. For example, here a uh, worker, yes, uh, worker is there, is uh, moving from a home, uh, yes, to right farm, right farm, right. It is the farm, right, not farm, not uh, farm, it is farm, uh, it is the institution or uh, yes, industry, right, uh, where goods and services produce, right, okay, by the factors of production, right. So, here the factors of production are given cash, right. It is uh, yes market price income, okay, right, okay. But the thing is that the worker can't eat the cash, okay. That's why you should try to move to right uh, shop. Here, let us imagine that here right shop is there. Yes, here shop is there, right. He moves to shop, right. Now you should try to submit the cash into the shop, right shop where goods and services are present, okay. He has to purchase, right, uh, goods and services from shop by giving is cash, cash in the form of, right, to, yes, MP, MP, okay. I think it is clear, right. That is why, for example, so, for example, here uh, 100 rupees, right, he, he submitted 100 rupees MP, okay. For example, he gets 100 rupee valued, right, uh, goods, goods nothing but factor cost, I think it is clear. Okay. So, here he provided how much money? 100 and he gets how much money? 100, 100, 100. Means no addition, no deduction. What is that addition? That is subsidies, subsidies. And also what are the deductions? That is indirect access. I think it is clear. So, it is understood that, it is understood that. Some additions and deductions are taking place in the shop. I think it is clear. For example, here 100 rupees submitted, he gets right 100 rupees. So, here uh, yes, indirect tax is equals subsidy, indirect tax is equals subsidy. Why? Because no additions and no deductions. How much amount right he provided? How much amount he provided? He is simply as given. That is why he feels very happy. For example, if he provided 100 rupees, MP, if he gets right only 50 rupees valued goods, FC, he feels very bad. Why? Because here indirect tax, indirect tax right exceeds subsidy. That is a problem. That is the problem. For example, another example, for example, 100 rupees MP submitted in the shop and uh, if he gets 200, let us imagine FC, that is goods. 
here he feels very happy why because just he provided only 100 rupees but he gets 200 rupee valued goods okay why because here subsidy greater than subsidy greater than idt okay yes i think it is clear that uh, the market price income right which is right provided by the firm in the form of cash but thing is that factors can't eat the mp that's why they should try to convert the cash into goods okay now yes mp is converted into afc factor cost at shop but the thing is that in the shop we are having some conditions and deductions additions nothing but here uh, subsidies deduction nothing but here uh, right in the taxes i think it's clear so mp yes moves to home with uh, fc fc stands for here factor cost in terms of goods and services okay i think it's clear that's a mp given by whom right uh, firm fc given by whom right uh, shop okay that's why goods are uh, purchased at a uh, shop by providing mp mp nothing but in the form of right only cash fc in the form of goods okay i think it's clear yes so here uh, with reference to right uh, uh, yes terms we finished income we finished the right uh, tva total value added and uh, gva gross value added right next one is here uh, net value added net value added what is net value added as okay so is you see here input i think input leads to output input leads to output okay so if you consider if you consider only output gross value added gross value added for example if you consider if you consider input and output it is total value added total value added i think it's clear so with reference to national income right uh, ns for national statistical office consider only gva doesn't care about the es tva why because we should not take in so here in this is former value this is final value only final value is taken right that's why input is not taken why input is not taken means input are already reflected in the right output okay so you see here uh, gross value added just we gets okay for example for example uh, we got gva but in the process in the production of goods services the measure is subject to some yes a normal rate of right uh, accident yes normal rate of accident that is damage okay we should try to uh, yes uh, yes deduct the uh, subtract the right year uh, deduction that is depreciation reduction of depreciation why well, because in the process of production of goods and services machine is subjected to some right obsolescence obsolescence some damage some wear and tear right uh, some repairing yes that's why we should try to yes deduct when we deduct a depreciation from gva then we get a nva that is net value added net value added I think it's clear. So, in the calculation of national income, right, uh, we consider only GVA but not uh, TVA by because TVA consider not only output but also inputs. That's why NSF at any cost doesn't care about the doesn't care about the total value and just cares about the right uh, GVA. Okay. And uh, when we right uh, when we deduct uh, the depreciation, as I told you, depreciation is nothing but consumption of fixed capital, consumption of fixed capital, wear and tear, wear and tear. Why? Because in the production process, the machine is subject to some accidental yes damage. So damage uh, should be just deducted, deducted, right? That's why this is depreciation D also treated as CFC, consumption of fixed capital, and also wear and tear, wear and tear. If you deduct. If you deduct depreciation from GVA, then you get NVA net value added, right? Net value added. So yes, so NSO either consider GVA or consider NVA. Okay, I think since 19 since 2015, 14, 15, right? GVA is constant. Okay, I think it's clear. Yes, you see here we have some reform. We have reforms. Uh, yes, in. Uh, so, so here just we consider gva gross value added before that we use it to consider nva net value added i think it is clear okay so but we should not consider tva at any cost right so it is understood that most be nothing but here ns or national statistical office just consider only right uh, gv either gv or nva but should not be taken right tva i think it is clear okay so with the with the right uh, clarification these two words also finished right now we should try to move into another word that is uh, Yes, market price also just have finished. Now domestic income. Yes, moving to domestic income. Right. What is domestic income? Domestic income. Right. 
So, it is understood that domestic income is the income which is right created within the geographical area of the country, right. For example, you see, you see here, uh, we, we should try to consider this one as yes, India, yes. For example, okay, you should try to imagine, envision the graph as India, yes. The, the production of goods services which are right to produce within one financial year within the geographical area, within the geographical area, right. This is domestic income right that is gdp that is gdp domestic i think it is clear right so here here who produces the good services yes three sex people one is yes household they can produce and also farms they can produce and also government yes produce that is why the income which is generated within the geographical area of the country can be treated as a domestic income here three sex people right involved one is household second one is farm third one is right government i think it is clear yes household farm yes come under private sector g yes it is government sector ours is the mixed economy ours is the mixed economy in which both the private sector and government sector both can produce good services okay that's why here these two can be treated as private sector and uh, this is the government sector ours is the mixed economy that's why here in which both private and government right both are entitled to produce goods and services i think it's clear so here generally household goods they produce right consumer goods and uh, farms they produce right investment goods government government goods okay and one more thing also here we should try to add that is uh, yes here x minus m net exports nx net exports right i think it's clear so, whenever these sections, right, for example, okay, your households, your households and also farms and also, right, government, right, these, these three sections of people, right, can produce goods and services in India. For example, if they produce uh, surplus, excess goods, services, they are to be exported, to be exported. And such a sickness and shortage of goods also be typically that is also scarcity also taking place, crunch also taking place. Okay, whenever a scarcity taking place, those goods are must be imported. That's why X minus M nothing but here uh, it comes from domestic and economy. Why? Because X is done by the households, X is done by the farms, X is done by the governments. Whenever uh, the production of goods and services seem excess, right, surplus, right, at that time they, they should try to write export their goods and services to abroad. That is why here this is the domestic economy. Domestic economy is the economy in which write the goods and services which are produced in a particular geographical area, okay. So, but should not take in the income which is coming from, yes, abroad, right, okay. The income must be created in the, within the geographical area, I think it is clear. So, that is why India is having right mixed economy in which both the private sector and the government sector are entitled to produce goods and services. The private sector household, private sector is from here, okay, government, okay. I think, I think it is clear. So, with reference to India, right, uh, three sex people are entitled to produce goods and services, right, uh, who are right here households, firms and uh, government. I think it is clear. Okay. Now, we should try to move into, yes, another word. The word is, right, uh, national income. Now, with national income. What is national income? What is national income, right? So, national income means here, besides right uh, domestic income, we should try to add the income which is coming from abroad. You see here, for example, you see, right. With reference to right uh, India, this is the right, this is the domestic income, right? Okay, so domestic income plus the income which is coming from abroad, that is R minus P, nothing but net factor income abroad, net factor income abroad. So these are the three sectors and one more sector here, one more sector, if you add uh, one plus three, that is four. That is the national income is yes, having four sectors, but domestic income is having only three sectors. Three sectors are right. Uh, uh, farms, uh, right, households, uh, government. I think it is clear. Okay. So, it is understood that, it is understood that, right, national income, right, uh, adds one more sector, uh, right, uh, that is NFI and NES, yes, net factor income abroad. That is why Indian factors, Indian factors, they, those, yes, uh, who move to abroad and uh, they produce goods or services on foreign soil, they send some income to India. That is receipts. That is receipts that is remittances, right? I think it is clear. That is why they are producing goods and services abroad and they are sending the income. They are sending the income, yes, to India. Okay, I think it is clear. Okay. So, it is understood that. 
and the next one is payments where for example certain circumstances some people those who are working in india in india and they take out the income for example one farm for example hyundai yes one, one farm is there in india they are producing goods as yes, cars right for example so with reference to right uh, profits they may take out from india that's why payments payments okay that's why indians working abroad sending money nothing but here receipts okay and uh, some abroad some uh, non residents who are working yes in our india they take out the income from india come under right payments i think so they take out means here minus and uh, especially nri so non resident indians and indian companies indian individuals and they are working out and they are sending money that's why we should try to write add into receipts i think it's here national income national income right okay that's why here with reference to national income here c plus i plus g plus x minus m plus r minus p you see here here it is the domestic income domestic income if you add this also this is national income i think it is clear right so the difference already be felt right okay so here what is national income national income right not only add domestic income but also the income which is coming from abroad also right okay i think it is clear this is the so here three yes uh, sectors it is one sector total yes four sectors i think it is clear so with reference to right uh, words uh, which are come across in national income are and uh, one more word also here we have uh, that is uh, nni and rni okay nni and uh, rni right this can be dealt now okay right so here uh, with reference to right uh, uh, definition right production right production into price right we get income i think yes income okay so production means in which year 2022 23 that is current that is current year production so that is it should not be yes uh, changed production always in current year right uh, not base year production is taken right so now it be mindful right here we should try to keep uh, the word in our mind that is yes production should be taken of current year only not base year production so here we are having some chances that is the yes either we take base year price okay and also current year price we are having two chances for example base year price okay base year now base year price year 2011 12 base year year current year again same year 2022 23 i think it's clear right so uh, production uh, is uh, not uh, changed uh, production should be taken from current year only okay and uh, with reference to prices the uh, prices are two types for example you we may take a uh, base year base year is the believable year at a credible year right why because here are no upswings no downswings right here no upswings and no downswing just uh, here steady price we have steady price we have right okay base year is the year in which neither upswing nor uh, downswing is visible only steady price we have right i think it's clear so production should be right multiplied with the price which is right base year price just the income which is we derive ne renamed as real national income why because it is the below role model year believable year credible year credible year that's why here uh, neither upswing nor downswing only steady price stable price we have that's why the income just we are getting yes treated as rni that is real national income for example if you replace right uh, byp with right uh, cyp current year price generally current year price not believable why because upswing downswing may be taking place okay and also in current year uh, high prices uh, is likely to be occur why because uh, according to right uh, economics every year every year minimum 4% price is uh, is rise upwards so okay 4% price is increased in every good minimum that's why here generally current year price is having higher level price so if you yes if you multiply the current year production with the current year 
price, the income which we derive renewable dies nominal national income. Nominal national income. I think it is clear. Okay, I think okay. So here real national income, nominal national income. That is why prices are classified in two types. That is why we should try to get two types of income, which is right. Uh, the former is uh, yes, uh, real national income, second one is the nominal national income. Okay. So, current year production is multiplied with the current year price, then we get nominal national income. If you multiply current year production with the right the base year price, then you get real national income. So, real national income is uh, reliable, that means believable year, right? Okay. I think it is clear. Okay. Right. Now, we should try to just recap uh, just what we discussed so far here. So, with reference to right first word, we dealt it national income. So, generally national income, right, it is. Uh, it so, generally national income right uh, comes under right uh, macroeconomics why? because we consider all sections of people income not uh, one section of people okay that is why it comes under micro macroeconomics not microeconomics national right okay that is the word national income right. The total goods and services which are produced just within the country right uh, treated as national income right. Next one is a question as I told you right uh, national income is created by the factors by the factors only. I think it is clear. Next one is here a definition with reference to just we I, I dealt with definition a final value as I told you right only output is taken should not be taken input. And next one is here with reference to right financially as I told you financially stretches right from April 1st to March 31st, April 1st to March 31st that is why here uh, we should not take right uh, only one day it is total stretches to almost that is why here point of time not year only period of time. Here period of time, period of time. I think it is clear. So, next one here income as I told you when we multiply this production with the price then we get income. Total value added right when we add uh, input just we get total value added GVA gross value added only output is added. With reference to NVA when we deduct right depreciation from right uh, output we can get net value added. Market price income which is right given by the firm where uh, the factors right deliver their uh, effort to produce goods or services. Next one is factor cost just when we submit when we submit yes MP into shop yes we have a deduction sum yes additions additions are subsidy deductions are indirect taxes next one is domestic income yes which is uh, created within geographical area three factors can produce domestic income that is as i told you right uh, here households and firms and government when we add the income which is coming from abroad also it is national income okay nam nominal national income right when we multiply current year production with the current year price then we get nominal national income and when we yes multiply current year production with base year price that is real this is just only introduction of national income I just I have to conclude right thank you